Back with game 2 between ABR and Mimolet, ABR up 1-0. Looking at the teams, most likely AV Tangros, Mega Alakazam, Rocky Helmet, Torn. Uh, either Coco or Heatron could be Z-Move. I'm um, thinking Tren is a bit more likely, just knowing that ABR loves Z-Move. Tren and uses it quite a lot. And then um, Gren could be Scarf. Maybe Coco is Scarf, but I'm thinking Gren is more likely to be Choice Scarf. On Mimolet side, we see regular Kyurem and Superior, some more heat. I think it's gonna be Rock Slanderous. Uh, all out attacking Mega Mawile. Megina could be AV, but it doesn't have to be AV. If it's AV, he's free to click Volt Switch here because ABR has no ground type. Uh, I think ABR is just gonna Mega Evolve and click Focus Blast here. Because if the Megina stays in, he gets good information. If the Megina is offensive, it's a huge uh, threat potentially. Depending on the coverage, it can be a really big problem for ABR. So getting damage on offensive Megina would be good for him. So I think he just wants to Mega and Focus Blast here. Uh, but if Memolet is not AV, if he's offensive, he might just want to switch out into Landris and predicting a Focus Blast. I'm not 100% sure about that. But no matter what, I think ABR is fine here to um, click Focus Blast. Mega Alakazam is decent speed dev. Also, on um, Memolet's side, I'm not sure what the Scarfer is. Superior, Greninja are more likely to be Scarf than the Kyurem. Well, I think I disconnected because the smog to his chat is not moving anymore, so let me pause it real quick. Yeah, I did disconnect, so we're gonna rewatch the three turns that we missed. He did just Mega Evolve and Trace Landers, Intimidate and Focus Blast it. And um, this got the Intimidate, like he traced the Intimidate and now he Focus Blasts again. Um, the reason why he did that is, I'm gonna explain it after because we have another turn that we can watch. Now Morwell forces this out into the Heatran and if he has c coverage for this like Focus Punch, he can bop the Heatran and he has Brick Break. Who uses Brick Break Morwell? This guy is wild and he just bops the Heatran on the switch. <laughs> Hello? And now um, Coco comes out. He's gonna switch into either Superior or Landris here. So do we see U-turn or what does he go for? Goes for Wild Charge. So does this either Z Wild Charge or... Scarf is an option, but I'm thinking it might be Z. I'm honestly not sure. At first I thought Hedron would be the Z-move user. But uh, Mimolet can either go for Earthquake here or throw up the rocks. ABR is just going to switch into either Tangrowth or Torn. Yeah, goes into Torn. Makes a bit more sense than Tangrowth because he doesn't want to let the Mega Mobile come back in. Because Mobile now just clicks Blairoth versus ABR's team uh, after the Hedron got bopped. Misses a Hurricane there and this is... A free as slow U-turn for Mimolet, he doesn't even need rocks, he just gets a slow U-turn into Mawile. If this doesn't have Heat Wave, um, it can only Hurricane to hit the Mawile, so uh, Mimolet just clicks Playrough here. I guess if he doesn't want to risk missing, if he has Thunder Punch, he can also click that, but Playrough destroys ABR's entire team as long as it hits. So I definitely think he's gonna click um, Playrough here. Um, ABR is either gonna Heat Wave or if he doesn't have Heat Wave, he, yeah, he does just Hurricane. He doesn't have Heat Wave, I think. So he does get the confusion, but he doesn't hit himself, so he gets off the player of uh, Rocky Hammer chips down the marble a bit. Now Greninja comes out, and he obviously doesn't want to give this Greninja Battle Bond, so he can pull a switch here. Pulls a switch in his superior, knowing that, um, yeah, like knowing that ABR is not gonna Dark Pulse there because he has a Megina that could have came out. We don't know too much about the, like, we don't know the Megina set yet confirmed, but I assume the Megina is offensive because he switched it out turn 1 on the Focus Blast from the Alakazam. And now, um, we probably see a Leaf Storm here. Yep, ABI was forced out because he was locked into Hydro Pump. If this is Scarf Superior and it bobs the Alakazam here, that would be so wild. Um, but it, it's not Scarf, so Alakazam outspeeds this. And now, goes in the Megina, which... ABR doesn't want to stay in. Like, early in the game he could stay in with Alakazam on Magina, but now he doesn't want to stay in anymore. Uh, because the Magina would get a Soul Heart boost. So he has to switch out. He switches into Tangrus. And there's the Ice Beam good play on Mimolet. I think he just Ice Beams again here. And this Magina is either... It's either Sugar or Z-Move. I'm not exactly sure. Also, uh, yeah, he's just gonna Ice Beam again here, ABR is forced to Earthquake to get damage on this. Earlier in the game, um, ABR was able to switch in, um, to stay in with the uh, Alakazam. After Mimolet pivoted into Landers on the Focus Blast, ABR Focus Blasted again. 
because um, he trades the Intimidate, so even if the Landris stayed in, I think the Alakazam would have been able to live any one hit. And also, Mimula didn't want to go for U-turn because I think he didn't want to U-turn fearing the uh, taking Rocky Helmet from the Tornadoes. And I'm not 100% sure, like, I'm not, yeah, I'm a bit... I cannot go into detail on the early game, because, <laughs> like, I disconnected at literally the wildest turn. That would have been so cool to watch that live and see how the smoke to his chat goes wild. So there's the earthquake. Gets a crit, that's really annoying. Um, what I'm thinking here is ABI is just gonna sack this to ensure that Mimolet does not set up a shift gear or trick room or whatever. I think this is shift gear. So ABI just has to stay in. He doesn't really need the Tangrowth for anything. The Tangrowth loses to everything. I guess he can get HP Ice off versus Landrith if it gets region. But other than that, the Tangrowth is not valuable. And switching out here um, is a potential misplay. So I think you should just stay in. I see Gigavolt Havix trying to predict ABR to switch out hard into Greninja, which ABR would never risk that. Like, ABR has no reason to switch out. So I think he should have just killed the um, Tangrowth with Ice Beam there. And now. Um, Goes in the landers and he can just click U-turn here or Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake is completely free and he gets some more leftovers. Right, right, right. Earthquake was free because the Tangrowth was in range. And now, ABI can go Greninja and force out the landers. We know it's leftovers very range, so Greninja outspeeds it. I'm not sure what Mimolet's Scarf is. The Superior was not Scarf. The Greninja might have been Scarf. And the only other potential... Yeah, it's either Gren or Kyurem, one of the two is Scarf. Because nothing else was Scarf and he definitely want a Scarf on this type of team. Because the Megina was offensive, which means he's a bit weak. Like, he only has checks to Greninja, he doesn't have hard counters. So, like, one of the mons between Gren and Kyurem has to be Scarf to help us opposing Gren. Uh, ABI can just click Hydro here, I think. Because Hydro, like, bobs everything. Like, I guess Kyurem can take it. Mm, Landorus is still good to keep. I mean, Kyurem can probably take two Hydro Pumps even if it's not faster than Gren, so... He might just go hard into Kyurem. I don't think ABR um, is gonna Dark Pulse here, because I don't think Dark Pulse kills and he would risk... Greninja getting low or even dying. I don't think Greninja... No, Greninja doesn't die in one because it's defensive Lando, but there's still no reason to Dark Pulse. Uh, you wanna keep Greninja healthy, so that way it's out of potential Sucker Punch range, I think. Uh, but yeah, Kyurem comes out, and we don't see leftovers, so it's not sub Bruce leftovers. I'm not sure if it's Z. No, he already showed Z of Megina, so I don't know what the Kyurem would be. He didn't show a Scarf yet, so if Gren wasn't Scarf, I guess this could be Scarf. Um, hmm. If it doesn't have. Like, if it only has Ice Beam and Earth Power, ABI can 2 it KO it here with Hydro Pump if it doesn't have Roost. So, depending on what the Kyurem has, this might be really good for ABI. If this doesn't have Draco Stab, um, ABI can beat this 1v1 as long as he hits his Hydro Pumps. And you can probably just win with the Greninja if the Kyurem doesn't have Draco. But yeah, if he has Draco, he should just click it here. I guess he could be Specs Kyurem? I don't know. Like, I'm still thinking the Gren might be Scarf, or I don't know if this is Scarf. If this is not Scarf, it could be Specs. Really not sure what else. Mm, ABI doesn't really have a switch in here. I mean, Coco would be a potential play on Draco, but... That wouldn't really work out on on a roost because Coco cannot even touch this Kyurem if it's physical. Like the Coco is like U-turn and oh, what? Scarf Kyurem Bob, there it is. <laughs> Scarf Kyurem and now I think Memola just wins now. Okay, that was wild. Now he can obviously go into Coco here, knowing that this is locked into Draco. And Coco has to click U-turn, I think. <clears throat> And uh, Mimolet can just switch out on either the Alakazam or on the Coco that comes out, and most likely the Coco is gonna come out. Mimolet uh, then has to switch out because he's locked into Scarf Draco. And then he can come back in later, and he probably just wins with Ice Beam, or maybe even with Earth Power if Alakazam is low enough in, in Edison range. Uh, will be interesting this. Like, if the Coco is Z move. <coughs> I don't even think, I don't know if that would kill, but obviously he doesn't want to stay in here. So he, he's just gonna go Landris, right? He's just gonna go Landris here. If ABR has coverage for Landris and it's mixed, he can um, two hit kill Lander with HP Ice if he wants to. I don't think that matters for Mimolet. He can just switch out here, come back in, and hit ABR up with the off power. 
um, if F power of oh, course that is also going land risk gets off the intimidate and if ABI U-turns that's still completely fine because the Alakazam is low which means if Alakazam kills the Landris, Kyurem comes back and, and kills up with either Ice Beam or Earth Power um, no reason to risk Draco anymore <coughs> so what does he go for U-turn? yeah U-turn knowing that Kyurem has to switch out Alakazam traces the Intimidate which is a bit helpful but doesn't really matter at this point because Mimolet can just click. Like, he can sack the Mawile and keep this land. Yeah, he can sack the Mawile and keep this landers, I guess, yeah. Yeah, at first I said the. Um, did I mix up anything? The landers has a little bit more value than the Mawile, I'm pretty sure at this point. So he, he can just sack the Mawile. He has no reason to click Sucker Punch. He can just click um, Knock Off or T Punch or whatever move he has that is 100% accurate. And that way he keeps Alakazam low, no reason to suck on a potential recover. And that way if Alakazam is in off power range, which I'm pretty sure it is, he can just go cure him after and click off power, which is pretty cool for him. And we are most likely going to get a game 3. And I'm hyped. If, if I wasn't this tired, I would be more hyped, obviously. Um, so he can just click off power, I'm pretty sure that would have killed the Alakazam. And we still don't know the Coco's item. Is it Z or is it Scarf Coco? <laughs> but um, I guess he can just go back into Landris here. Um, that way he doesn't risk the Coco being Scarf and somehow killing the Kyurem. Maybe with a crit. Like, um, yeah, like, obviously Kyurem is Scarf. And if Coco is not Scarf, Kyurem outspeeds it. But you don't want to risk a random Scarf Coco. So I think you always go Landris here. Yeah, you always go Landris. And what does ABI even have? He showed U-turn and Wild Charge. So, is is a Ruth HPIs or Ruth Taunt if he Z-move? Or if he Scarf? I don't know what the other two moves would be, actually. Brave Bird, hello. So, I think he's Scarf, because he showed Brave Bird, U-turn and Wild Charge. So, now... <clears throat> my bad for the weird noises, by the way. I've noticed that also in Game 1 that I made these weird noises. I don't know if that's... <laughs> Because of lack of sleep. But now uh, you just click off quick here. A a Coco dies to recoil. Alakazam comes out. Alakazam can pick off. Al Alakazam gets a kill here with Psychic. You just off quick again, I think. Or U turn or whatever. And yeah, you come in with Curem and you click Ice Beam. Because, like, Earth Power probably kills as well. But obviously, Ice Beam is stronger and doesn't risk anything. And Ice Beam is gonna pick off the kill. Pick up the KO here, however you say that. Nice and bad English Docker Keck. And Mimolet brings it Mimolet brings it to a game 3, which is cool. What are we gonna see in game 3? Hopefully no stall. I cannot handle stall with, <laughs> without sleep. That would be too much for me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's cool to see him win with Curem, actually. And yeah... <laughs> Who, who would have thought here yeah, I would have brought Scarf, Kyurem, that's, that's pretty wild. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you with Game 3. Hopefully I still have enough power to bring you Game 3 live. And goodbye. Smash the like button, by the way. Because, yeah, like, I'm putting in the work here, right? I know this is not my, like, my best video ever. Like, I'm completely aware that the narration could be better, because I'm way too tired. But, um, yeah, don't worry about me, by the way. I'm, um, I'm fine, like, if anyone would worry, like, or care. However you say it. <clears throat> I had like some work to do today, so that plus I recorded I wanted to record more videos for you guys meant I couldn't sleep much. Um, but I will get enough sleep tonight, so I'm fine. But yeah, peace out. Nice bad outro classic Darko. <laughs>